Okay, uh, I did a video earlier on the uh, laying out the railings and pickets or the pickets and stanchions for guardrails and handrails. So I was doing this one and I'm not sure why it didn't turn out right. I think I got uh, too much information. So I'm going to just lay out the stairs pretty standard uh, 7 11. So this the rise is 7, the run is 11, and that's your maximum. Uh, Max, I honestly, we usually keep the treads at 11, but the rise is going to be 7 or less. So I just picked an arbitrary number here. And uh, the way we're going to run this is uh, we need to find out what the height is, uh, how many tread, how many risers. So we're going to go to the calculator. 114.65, 114, oh, 4.65, uh, divided by 7. Just we need to get how many treads, right? So 16.37, so we're going to go 17. So let's divide 114.6, one, one, sure looks like a comma. 14.657. It's interesting. Divided by. 17 right equals and that'll give us the actual rise and it's just under it's about six and three quarters so and here you can just copy the the control c and then you could come in over here l enter and autocad that's another way i would do it but well you would just get 17 but uh you could go 11 here and then you could post paste that dimension control v and enter if we hold it down enter and that should be lining up with how we would normally do it in this just a way to check so I would type in divide enter 17 and this should be the same dimension right enter right. same dimension to a thousandth of an inch all right, so delete that. It's probably even more accurate than that. I think I copy and pasted like uh, 12 or 15 decimal places. So that gives us the the rise, and then the run is 11. So we're just going to connect that L enter and hit that, and then we're going to trim it or extend it. E X enter. Select this ground line. Enter, and then snap on it. So now we have the actual pitch. So each riser is going to equal one of these risers and the treads will equal it, it, even increments of 11. So let's draw a tread and it's 11 inch tread but you're going to have a toe out of about an inch. So we're going to go 12 comma oh backspace 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 hat 12 comma 2 enter so that's a pretty standard tread. And then we're going to move that over to here. So I'm going to hatch fill that. So I don't use AutoCAD, so all the typical standard settings that I used to have on AutoCAD are gone. Like I took away the having to put in at and always was always relative. And then the symbol from the origin was, uh, so I think that was at. There's a way to switch it around. And then so this group that. Now it's hatched with the group, select it, and then hit properties. Let's just change it red so it's by uh, color. All right. So now what we're going to do is we want to make sure those are the right numbers. So we have the number 17. We got our angle. And uh, so we're going to take that and draw a ray. Enter. And we're going to go path. We're going to hit this. We're going to hit associative no because I'm going to get rid of that tread on the bottom. And then we're going to hit the base point tangent items. So we're going to write the method. We're going to go with uh, divide. We could do divide or measure, right? Uh, somehow populated, whichever I had already. So enter. And we go to items. It would be how many items? 17. Enter. And Actually, it's going to be 
17. Why isn't that lining up? Uh, let's go method. Hmm. Honestly, can't tell you there, there. So it's 18. So yeah, so we're having the theoretical tread, I guess. Uh, 18. That's the nice thing about having the, the pre-setting it up ahead of time is that you can tell if it's matching up. Oh, so I just missed that angle, right? Let's just go control Z backwards and then backwards again. All right, so for some reason, I just missed that. So extend, EX, enter, select that, enter, and then click that. Okay, so now <laughs> uh, those will match. So if we draw that same tread, at symbol 12, comma, 2, enter. And then and if you were doing a lot of these, you'd be turning this into a block. And sometimes the mistakes are kind of good because you see where things can get screwed up. Draw a hatch. And do that. Enter. Group. Fix that color. Enter. And then here we're going to go array. So there's a couple ways to do it. We got this line, and the last one would end up there. So we're going to type in array. And uh, we're going to do path here. Associative no. We're going to get rid of that one at the end. And then method. We could measure. Let's do measure first. Uh, control V, enter, and then. Uh, Measure. You don't put it there. You go to items and then you paste it. Control V. Enter. Oh. Array expression for the number of items. Seventeen. Enter. <laughs> Method. Measure. Items. Control V. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's the rise. It's a, it's a, so we want this diagonal that fits in there equally, right? Control, let's go back. Sorry. We're going to divide. Divide. Enter. And the number of segments is 17. 17 rises, 17 segments. And then we would go through here. We could type in array. Path. Click our line, and then method, divide. We could uh, do divide 17. That should actually we could divide items 18, right? 18, enter. <clears throat> and then, oh, they're all landing, right? Correct. And then uh, that's one way to do it. And then you could go like, let's say the items. <laughs> let's say it was 12, enter, right? And that was the way it came up. You would go to method, uh, measure, and then hit items. And then you could do it this way. That's giving it, picking those two points. Or you could go to 12, enter. So one gives it the number. Of the space and then the number, or you could go method uh, measure, no method divide, and go items 18, and one will populate at the top too. So that's why there's 17 segments, but 18 uh, treads because you're including the theoretical and the top. There's less in the, in, the, in between. And then just hit enter. And then this this is associated, <laughs> associative. So control Z, we could do this here. So one way you need, if you have the thing on the outside here, you can array it with divide. If you use divide though, you wanna make sure it's not associated because you won't be able to get rid of these if it's uh, associated. 
So let's do this. Let's select that and then type array. And if we take a path, select our path, and then a method, a divide, 18, let's go to associate with no, and then items, 18, All right, it's going to populate the top and the bottom one, and then we're done, right? And then I like this because, like I said, I have the option to say, I have the, the confirmation that the rise and everything's the same. Otherwise, it's hard to tell if you got an extra one or whatever, right? But you could, to check it, or ideally, you're going to be checking it as you go. That's going to want to be 6.75, and this one's going to stay 11. All right, and that's how you do that. Uh, and then, since it's not associative, right, you could delete those too. But then you will have the option to modify this if you were doing incremental stuff. That works very well if you're doing modular stuff. You could just do incremental and having associative works because then you could just add one, two, three, four treads. And that's uh, what I know about uh, stairs and handrails that I can remember that I, that, you know, easier to see it done. And, and honestly, I won't have to figure this out again. So uh, I need to save this. can delete all that if I wanted, but uh, control S and hope that helps in your career and thanks for watching.